Number three then from the 2014 advanced tyre, Gaussian elimination. Here's a system of equations, three equations, and it says express z in terms of lambda. So you want to write z as some function or other of lambda. Well, I'm going to put down an augmented matrix, but I think if I want z as a result, I'd rather have that at the bottom, so I'm going to rearrange the terms. 1, 1, 1, 2. I'll do this one next. 5, 6, 8, 11. And then I'll put the 4, 3, negative lambda with the 4 at the end. Well, and have that floating about in the middle. So, plan is to get both of them to zeros. So for this one, I'll take row 2 and subtract 5 lots of row 1. 1, 1, 1, 2. So that'll be a 0. 6 take away 5 will be a 1. 8 take away 5 will be a 3. And 11 take away 10 will be a 1. Then for this one, I'll take row 3 and subtract 4 lots of row 1. <laughs> so that'll be a 0. 3 take away 4 will be negative 1. And that'll be negative lambda take away 4. If I just write it like that, negative lambda take away 4. And that'll be 4 take away 8. It's negative 4. Now I'll make that zero, and that's quite easy, because all I need to do for that one is row 2 plus row 3. Zero, ah, one, do you think one, you'll notice? Two, zero, one, three, one, zero, then that'll be zero, so that'll be negative lambda minus one, and that'll come to negative three. Now I could rearrange that again and just make them all positives. So that means that, just knocking all the negatives out, that lambda plus 1 lots of z equals 3. So z will be 3 over lambda plus 1. The next part, for what values of lambda does this system have a solution? That's a nuisance of a way. If it said what values of lambda does this system not have a solution, that would have been better. Well, obviously, looking at either of these, Either from this, z wouldn't exist if lambda was negative 1, or down here, this would have no solution if z, sorry, if lambda was equal to negative 1, because then it would have 0, z equals 3. So, but it's the opposite way around. So, that for what values of lambda does it have a solution? Solutions for all lambda, with the exception, lambda not equal to negative 1. And then the last part, determine the solution when lambda is 2. Now, I didn't put down here the set of numbers lambda is a member of, because I didn't say to begin with what they were. Was it just whole numbers that we're considering? Was it just integers? I didn't actually say. So for this last part, if lambda equals 2, well, if lambda equals 2, that means that z will be 3 over 2 plus 1, which means z equals 1. And then feeding it back to this, whoops, I've got y plus 3 lots of 1 equals 1, which means that y will be negative 2. And then feeding it into the first one up here, oh, I've got a 0 for there. Ah, there we go. I've got x plus a negative 2 plus a 1 should equal 2, which means that x equals 4 take away 1 is x equals 3. So there's the solutions unless you want to put them down this way. Solution 3, negative 2, 1.